I'm gonna show you 10 things that changed in FN24 that you might have missed. And stick around for the last one, as that one might genuinely change how you play Football Manager. For the first one, let's have a look at a set piece change that hasn't been talked about. And it's actually not in the new set piece creation screen, but in penalties. We've always had the option to let a player on two goals take the next penalty to get them that hat trick, but now there's two more options. You can now automatically change your penalty taker if the designated player has already taken a penalty or if the player has already missed the penalty. So if you want to share the goals around or not let a player ruin your game twice, you can now set that up in the penalty screen. On to change number two, and this one might hurt for some players. A fan favorite method to increase a player's work rate and determination was to whenever they had a poor match performance of a 6.4 or lower, to then give them a disciplinary fine. This feature however has been removed in this year's game, as the developers thought it was too unrealistic. The focus for this year is really on interactions and player targets, so no shortcuts for easy work rate and determination anymore. Now for change number 3, and this time we're going to the squad planner. This somewhat lackluster addition in FM23 has been expanded upon in this year's game. The bottom of the screen now gives some more information and functionality. It shows you all the issues for the selected position that your backroom staff thinks you might have, the ability to add your youth prospects that suit this position, and you can add shortlist to players that suit this position. Not only that, the squad view on the left now shows you the average ability for each position, the squad depth in each position, and the currently selected roles for each position in your current tactic. This all makes it feel like a more well-rounded feature and something that I'm looking to use in FM24. On to change number 4 and it's another screen that now shows more information. It's your assistant report which has some slight tweaks specifically in the strengths and weaknesses columns. The youth prospects for example, where we previously only saw a handful of talents, we now got a complete list of every young player that's worth mentioning. But most importantly we now get detailed feedback on our set pieces showing us how to make or tweak our new set piece routines. Let's switch it up for change number 5 and look at a change in training options. A great way in the previous FMs to get a quick boost for your next match was to add match preparation sessions like attacking movement, defensive shape and teamwork. But these have been removed in FM24, with the only available options now being match tactics, practice or review. You do have the newly added match focus session though, which replaces this functionality and combines it with a set piece focus. So when transferring over your training schedules from FM23, be sure to take this change into account. Let's switch over to change number 6, which will massively help you sell your unwanted players. While the introduction of intermediaries has been discussed plenty, one change has been flying under the radar, Saudi money. While the Saudi league isn't playable yet, they've certainly updated the budgets of the big clubs there. While you previously could struggle with selling your players, especially the elite ones, FM24 has got you covered with some Saudi money coming in, making your life at top clubs a little bit easier. For change number 7, we're going from selling players to finding players, as we've got a small change in the scouting screens. Specifically, we're looking at manually searching for players, as the filters window has seen a revamp. Most options are still there, if not in a different position, but the biggest change is that the advanced tab is now gone. In its place are now the attribute selection, while all the advanced functionalities are now in the main window. So for example, if you're looking for a player that's just accomplished in a certain position, you can now do that from the main window, which I think is a great little change. For change number 8, we've got a fun little addition that you'll probably notice once you start loading up your save. You can now see the previously selected 11 as well as your total real life playing time in this save. Not the most impactful addition, but a fun little extra. But the same can be said for change number 9, being a significant change in the set instructions for a certain player role. And we're talking about the winger role, which had previously been hardcoded to always run wide with the ball, which is now no longer the case, giving us more freedom to tweak our winger role to however we want to play. You can now tell your winger to cut inside from wide positions, but my personal favorite is to leave it in the middle and have your winger constantly change between cutting inside and running wide, making it an absolute hell to defend against. But I left the best for last, as change number 10 will force you to completely look differently at your substitutions bench. In previous games, no matter how many substitution options you were allowed, you never really needed to take another goalkeeper with you, as your starting goalkeeper never really got injured. Well that's certainly changed in FM24, as goalkeeper injuries are way more common now. So when you're starting a new save, be sure to have a quality second choice goalkeeper, and take him with you to every game as you just might need him. And if you haven't chosen your new save yet, check out this video where I show you the best save ideas for every type of save you might want to play. I'll see you on the next video.